Hello YouTube, I am some guy named Nate, and this is episode 3 of Clive and Wrench on stream 2. I'm with my homies in the chat, I am leaning back, and on the last installment we beat Cajun Mob Bog, which was really awesome. And today we are doing the Tempest Tombs, we are in Egypt now. I don't know how the Egypt level is going to work. And we need 30 coins, ooh Mannequin Skywalker is uh, playing Mario Kart. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Are we talking? We need to do a sexy cat, sexy cat, sexy cat, sexy cat, sexy cat. Okay, good. I'm happy now. Where, Where's the sexy footage? Okay, so we need 30 coins to beat the second boss. So we can easily get. We just need freaking four coins in this level. I'm going to get more, of course. But yeah. Tis a fun game, and I like this game. I wonder how the Egypt level is going to play. Also, I haven't played this game in about a week. Home G is of the Animal Crossing cat. <laughs> oh, the, the famous one. Yes. The internet makes me sick. Oh, sweet aliens. That was also bizarre. The X button over the alien's head was kind of stretchy. I'm liking level four. This is awesome. Where's sexy cat? Sexy cat. Sexy cat. And sexy evil guy in the middle, look at him. I fear Dawkus is up to some pretty sinister stuff in here. If this giant statue is anything to go by, he seems to have somehow formed an alliance with Pharaoh Cleocatra. Also, your, your silly little brother is running around this level. I saw him. Where'd he go? There he is. Where's he going? Oh, shit. Oh, damn it. I missed him. Okay, we're waiting. Destroy all humans. <laughs> uh, I love destroy all humans. I need to play the remasters of one and two. Okay, he's gonna run around this corner. We're getting him. No! Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! Okay. Whenever I can't do. Oh, we got demons. Okay, I hear him running. Yes, yeah, got him. He'll get that heat stroke doing that all day. Yeah, I think the the Mario Bunny of the each level, which is the the I keep forgetting her name, the lady, the smart smart girl, Smartington. Uh, her little brother keeps running around every level, and he's just carrying a coin with him, like you know any any sane person would do. Oh crap, that Anubis. Whoa, look at that! Look at him go! He's still going. Okay, good. Holy crap. That was awesome. That shit's terrifying. That's like a creepypasta almost when like their geometry gets stretched across time and space. That shit freaks me out. And what is happening? Dude, what would you do if you woke up and you, every, like, the day was normal, everything was going good, and then all of a sudden, like, someone's geometry started stretching like that? Shit. Oh my god. I patched this game, everybody. I just fell through the geometry, and I found a secret key. What the hell was... What is... This game is a good game, I swear. I've... I... I cannot sneeze at puzzle platformers. I love puzzle platformers. But I want to get to the top of this dang tower. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is kind of where I was going in the first place, so I guess that's fine. Give me all of your stopwatches. And I also forgot how to hover. <laughs> um, what? Okay, there you go. That's hover. <laughs> we'll get the lower level stuff in a second. Dude, that alien's doing sit-ups. Dude, are you okay, buddy? Aw, uh, aw, uh, he's aw. Well, I freed him. One of five sad aliens. Oh, and he... 
Dude, the sad alien just warped home. This is the weirdest level. I don't know what the hell's happening. Okay, we're gonna do it. Ready? And body slam. Uh, I didn't body slam. That's fine. Also, why are, why are there not other Egyptian gods? Hmm? What's it called? Pepper spray? If it's not pepper. Also, did you see the fan theory? I don't talk about leaks that often because that's usually like non-disclosure agreements. But Lee Manjub, a.k.a. Dr. Stone from um, Sonic the Hedgehog 1 and 2, somebody found that he's got a, like a contract that got signed by Paramount. So, there's, oh, damn it. So a lot of people think that he's either going to be in the Knuckles spinoff series or he's going to be in Sonic 3. Either way, I'm happy to see him. He's awesome. Shit. I need to play some Sonic games on stream or on YouTube. I Okay, you're going to hate me, Alistair, because we we've talked about Sonic you and I before. But I've only beat five Sonic games. And, uh, no, 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 I beat... Okay, if you count... Non-platformers, I've beat 10. Because I beat Sonic and Sega All-Star Racing. I beat Sonic and Sega Racing Transformed. I beat... Yeah, I'm sorry. I beat so Team Sonic Racing. I beat Sonic 1. I beat Sonic 2 and Knuckles. I beat Sonic... What the hell was that Game Gear 1? Labyrinth. I beat Sonic Labyrinth, so that's 6. Um... I beat Adventure, and I've beat Forces, and I've beat or, or Generations, and wait, Sonic 2 or Sonic 3 and Knuckles. I did, uh, shit. No, I beat, okay, actually that's a lie, I did both. Because I beat Sonic 2 on when it was on Xbox 360, when they ported it to the 360 for Xbox Arcade. And then I beat a legit copy of Sonic 3 and Knuckles. Because one of my friends growing up was a Sega family. And he had that sick ass cartridge. Shit. I have Sonic Colors on the Switch, the remastered one. And I really want to play that next. That's on my list of games to beat this year. Because I have only played like half of Sonic Colors. Hello, sirs. I'm sensing you are too far from home. Can you help? My crew have been forced into labor by this town's queen, Cleopatra. If you could find it in your hearts to free them, I can reward your kindness. Yeah, I found one of your children already, bruh. <laughs> no, it's not his children. Sorry, they're your children now. I said it. it I've signed the papers already. Uh, I love Colors, and Frontiers is also super great. I do have Sonic... Uh, oh shit. I need to look at my whole collection. If I just type in the word Sonic, we're going to get a lot of games in my collection on the freaking app. I love the racing games, though. All three of the Sonic racing games are so fun. And they're each unique. Like, you'd think... You'd think that it'd be like, oh, one Sonic racing game? Okay, I've played every Sonic racing game. But no, all three of them are hella different. The first one, Sonic and Sega All-Stars Racing, is my favorite. That one slaps because it's uh, every Sega franchise. Well, not every, a bunch of them. Even the obscure ones. It just happens to have Sonic as its, like, base. They are fun. I have a few of them on Steam. Nice. Yeah, the second one transformed I had on my Vita. And then I was stupid and I got rid of it. So, well, not the Vita, the game. Uh, so I have to get another Vita copy. But I still have uh, a digital copy on my uh, 360. No, my Xbox One. I have a digital copy. I need to get it on Steam, though. The second one is so much fun. And Wreck-It Ralph's in it. I'm gonna wreck it. Okay, let's see if I can cheese the platforming system. Yes, I see the alien buddy. But I'm cheesing the system. Oh. Hidden by the light of Amun-Ra. 
Okay, now we're going to save the alien. There you go, dog. You're free to go. You are no longer under the cat's regime. And beat from Jet Set, yeah. And I, oh, hell yeah. Even though freaking what's his name? Uh, the guy who did the soundtrack of uh, Jet Set Radio and Jet Grind Radio and Jet Set Radio Future, he's like gone batshit crazy on Twitter, and it's the funniest thing. Belly flop. Dude, look at those dancing cat guards. I would not mess with them. Also, there's a thousand stopwatches in this level. Also, what happened to playing uh, Resident Evil 4 Remake? I'm recording that for YouTube. So, I'm recording that. Um, I'm starting on Tuesday. I'm going to record about three or four hours of it because I heard it's a 22 hour game. So, when they rebooted Resident Evil 4, or remade, sorry, they made it ridiculously long, which I'm totally down for. But I'm playing the hell out of that. I love Resident Evil. The movies, the terrible movies, the terrible series, the games, the really bad games, the remakes, the remakes of one, when they remade one again, when they remade one a third time. I still am looking for this, so if you can find it. Nice, did you play two and three? Hell yeah, I did. I, I liked the two remake a lot more, but that's just because the three remake... I swear, was way too damn short. Like, they were on a time crunch or something. And you could tell it was on a time crunch. Like, they were not hiding it. Because there was that one section... Oh, crap! There was that one section in Resi 3, the clock tower part in the original one, that I swear took me five ever to do. They definitely cut the shit out of the 3 remake, but I really enjoyed it. Me too. It was a super fun game. Is anything on the top of the top of the tower? Holy crap, something is. How am I getting up there? Okay, we're going to do this the old school puzzle platformer way, and we're just going to do a mini comb, and we'll see what happens. Damn it, Clive. There we go. But I do love Resident Evil. It's a great franchise. It's the perfect blend of uh, violence and horror and funny and memes. Hunnigan, help me. I, I think it's funny. I make a reference to like the Hunnigan parts, but it hardly happened. Uh, I'll just play, or yeah, for now, I'll just play as Survivor Leon on Dead by Daylight. I totally forgot there was that uh, Resident Evil cross promotion on Dead by Daylight too, which is dude. They got so many great franchises for their uh, cross promotions because you can be Ghostface and I saw um, Ash from Evil Dead is in there. That game is basically a love letter to horror franchises. Okay, we got two of the five keys and three of the five sad aliens. You know what? Whatever. I don't need to bounce on everything. I do, however, want to break all their crap. What's this? Uh, Daucus Industries Elixir. Okay. I think that was from the other level. Ooh. Can I climb this uh, temple thingy? Ooh, shit. Okay. Uh, it definitely is a love letter, and that's why it's so much fun. I agree. Oh, shit. Is that a trampoline? No, I just glitched it a little bit. Okay, another one of our alien friends is stuck. We're freeing you. Oh, the cat guard did not like that. Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, I can ragged all the... I ragged all the cat guard. Ready? Oh, you weren't paying attention. Oh. Okay. Oh crap, there's two cat guards on the forward entrance too. There is, look at this Bologna. Okay, I'm gonna land on this chimp. Uh, play as Pyramid Head and chase down Jill, Leon, Rebecca, and Ada. That's awesome. It's a mashup of franchises of yore. 
You know what else is weird? Didn't they announce, didn't Capcom, no, not Capcom, Konami, announced that they were rebooting Silent Hill 2? And they literally showed a logo. Oh, shit. They showed a logo, and then they were like, oh, yeah, it's still a thing. And then that's all we got. I am really hyped for it, though. Because I love Silent Hill 2, and that game is freaking expensive right now. It To get an original PS2 copy of Silent Hill 2, we're talking, we're talking like $130. It is silliness incarnate. And yes, Silent Hill 2 is peak. That's, that's all I've seen so far, yeah. I have the 2 and 3 remaster collection on the 360, and I treasure that freaking game. It's so good. Even though the port of Silent Hill 2 that they brought to the 360 isn't the best, but it's it's not terrible. Here's the last alien. Yes! And now they're flying away. Oh, and they blow up a secret route! Hey, look at this buff, buff bunny men. The city of Tempest welcomes Emperor Gluteus Maximus, Pharaoh Cleopatra's honored guest. I mean, you can trust him. All right. Oh, we don't have the scroll for the llama. Hello, travelers. I'm a member of the clan of the Karma Llamas. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, stop it. Okay. <laughs> uh, I used to have Silent Hill HD collection, but I sold it before I moved the first time. Oof. If I find another copy, I'll throw it at you. Because that game is fun. And seriously, you get freaking both 2 and 3, the best Silent Hills, if you don't mind me. And here's another thing. You're going to hate me a second time. I've only beat Silent Hill 1 and 2. And I've not got the funny Shiba ending. I still think it's funny that on the Konami uh, like website... Yeah, they're pretty... They're so expensive. I do not own the originals. I want a copy of Silent Hill 1 on the PS2 so bad. But my rule is I have to find it legitimately and on my own time. Also, there's the scroll that the Karma Llama was looking for. It's literally right back here. He could easily walk over here and get the scroll. But no! I'm not going to do it. I'm just going to make you get it. Everyone clapped. You should have seen it. Everyone clapped. Gotta believe it. Everyone clapped. I swear it's true. Everyone clapped. Uh, why are you playing this game? Silent Hill was on the PS1, yeah. Dude, I love this game. I love Clive and Wrench. I was actually hyped for it about two years ago when it was announced. Because one of the head developers at Numb School Games, the studio that played this, Thank you for the scroll I hear you can get on the roof of Cleopatra's temple. Though it's only accessible from her tomb and find what you may. Okay, bye. Thank you for the knowledge, Karma Llama. That's because I was really hyped for this game. I am going to play more crazy, more diverse stuff on the show, though. Because I gotta. Okay, the back door is locked. You're still unconscious. Um, it's supposed to write out the enemies after we beat them up. Because there's two, there's two cats guarding the front. Oh, God. Yes. I Mario'd him. Give me your health. Thank you. And uh, the Karma Llama said the only way to the top of the temple. Yeah, but you have to play Sonic and finish Silent Hill 3. I'm going to add those to my list really, really soon. That'll be on Retro Night. Oh, shit. Besides, I have a uh, Series S right here because I also downloaded it digitally on the Xbox. So I can easily play it on my Series S. So that's that. And then I'll play one of the Sonics. <laughs> I'll probably play Colors first. I've been really putting that on the back burner. I bought that, like, when they announced the remaster, I bought it uh, shortly thereafter, like, when it dropped. Because about a week after it dropped, they were selling it on Amazon for, like, 20 bucks. And I was like, 20 bucks? I can afford that. Does it got big the cat? I really should have bought a third autograph from John St. John, a second one for myself, because he was there, and he's the voice of Duke Nukem, but he's also the voice of Big the Cat, so take with that what you want. 
I'm here to find Froggy and go fishing. And I'm all out of poles. Well, yeah. I got a day one. Nice. Uh, do you have the collector's edition with the Sonic keychain? No, I just got the standard. But I'd say the standard still looks awesome. It looks good on a shelf. And this is a windy area here. All right, I gotta, I gotta collect. I only have half the stopwatches. But yeah, I beat Back for Blood today, and that game. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Look at this. Look at this. Oh my God. Okay. But yeah, I beat Back for Blood today, and spoilers to anybody who's gonna watch that on my YouTube channel. I hated the ending of that game. The ending of that game is doo-doo, and it tarnishes, like, the whole game. And I can kind of spoil it if you guys are still going to watch it. I don't know if the people watching my Clive and Wrench videos are going to really be fans of Back for Blood. Uh, you, you can beat... Well, yeah, there's six, there's six campaigns. There's six campaigns. Four of them are on the disc. Two of them are DLC. And if you play through each campaign once, there's a little check mark next to it. And the little check mark is just like Mario Kart. So when you get a check mark on easy difficulty and you highlight normal, then uh, you don't have a check mark when you go to normal. No legs to dance, no lungs to breathe, no life to live, and yet I still die. What am I? Uh, a t-shirt. You die a t-shirt. What the hell puzzle? Oh my god, it's a crazy puzzle. Oh my god, it's a really crazy puzzle. This isn't good. Alright, everybody at home, let's solve this riddle. Uh, I tried the trial on PS Plus, and I thought it was eh. It went, uh, it's not as good as Left 4 Dead. So I have no legs to dance, no lungs to breathe, no life to live, yet I shall die. What am I? Fire. Yes. Okay, so that obviously means I gotta go fire again. Ooh. Okay, I don't see any other fire. So we're gonna have to go. Oh my god, that was crazy. Yes. Riddles, but not of the Sphinx. That was, I liked that puzzle after I died once. You know, after I died, I got over it. But yeah. Uh, oh, and play uh, Dead by Daylight, and you could be Bill from Left 4 Dead. Nice. Okay. You see, you're just you're just selling me more. Leon, Kennedy, and Bill from freaking Left 4 Dead can be bros and hide from Pyramid Head and Pinhead. What are you calling Pinhead? Shoot! Okay, it said... That you can get to the roof of the temple through uh, through there. You know what? You know what? You know what? There's got to be a riddle. The Karma Lama said, "Bill is actually one of the best perks." Nice. Wait, what happens when I hit the button? Oh, that just oh. Oh my god. Also, how did I miss this vase? But seriously, there's got to be a route to the roof because there's the roof right there. Is there a Oh, I'm stupid. I am so dumb. But yeah, gonna lurk for a bit while I work. Thanks, dog. I appreciate you. But yeah, I am... Pretty much any uh, horror or platformer you want to recommend, I'm totally down for it. Here's what I'm thinking, everybody at home. Oh, it's not there? Is it another window? Nope, that's an invisible wall. Ooh. We are puzzling today.
Okay, there's got to be a secret button somewhere to let us get to the roof. That's what I'm thinking. Karma Llama would not lie to us. Like, why is there this planter right here? Okay. Hey, we solved one puzzle. I say it's a victory. We've only got three of the coins. Hmm. Oh, because we didn't collect the alien one. That's okay. That's okay. We'll find it. Hey, what's up? I want to pronounce your name. Is it Ah? Or is it AHL? <laughs> what's up, AHL? I was like, I'm not playing spooky games. No need to scream. But it was just me. I was the screamy Joe all along. Okay, let's see if I can get this freaking stopwatch. Yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, I have a new horror game I need to try called September 7th. <laughs> Lexi. Well, hello. How's it going, Lexi? I will remember that if you swing by another stream. I will not be a schmuck and call you, ah! They just wanted a holiday to fall, Kirk. Ooh, what's this? Secret door! Oh shit, demons. So this game's glitchy, and it's got cat ladies, but other than that, it's pretty good. And really scary music. Also, I don't know if I told everybody in the chat, but I have the... Uh, raises nerd glasses i have the collector's edition of this game it came with like the soundtrack and a bunch of oh my god watch out for the goo <laughs> don't fall in or you'll quickly burn your behind okay but yeah lexi how's it going what's new with you have you been playing any games recently are they better than the last games i've been playing i sure hope so Ooh, a key Okay, we need two more keys. Uh, no, you haven't? Aw, that's okay. Okay, looks like there's more demons. There you go. Okay, we're obviously supposed to traverse this goo area. And that goo looks really sketchy. But it's a ten-pointer in the goo. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can make it back. Okay. I was on edge for a second. Oh, it's just a crack in the wall. I say it's a crack in the wall when I say it's a crack in the wall. And also, I'm sorry I scratched my mustache there. Shoot! Oh, oh no! No, 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 no! Darn it! <laughs> I'm going to try to keep a PG here. Ooh, ooh, I cannot control myself today. Uh, okay. 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 Okay, this is working kind of well. This reminds me of the section in the new SpongeBob game when you have to jump on those mattresses, and they don't explain it. They're just... I hit the A button. Okay. Oh, wait, crap, wrong button. There you go, there's Sprint. Okay. Also, I was a huge idiot in the last few days. So as you probably know, everybody watching at home, that Nate is an idiot and he's jumping off platforms. That uh, the Nintendo eShop for the Wii U and the 3DS shut down are going to shut down in about two days. Which makes me really sad, because that game system was literally like the tail end of my childhood. Well, teenagehood. Because, with my first paycheck from my first job, I bought my 3DS. That is a true fact. So that game system holds a special place in my heart for that reason. But also because that game had system had so many good ports, it had amazing platformers. Most franchises made a game on that system... And I just freaking loved it. It had so many good games. 
And again, 90% of Nintendo franchises were represented pretty well on the 3DS. This is some scary freaking music in this level, dude. It sounds more like my alarm clock going off and telling me I have to go to work, and that scares me even more than, like, spiky walls and demons and stuff. Especially when the camera snaps to two-dimensionals. Ooh. Get okay. hit. Ugh. Okay, there we go. This is... Oh my god, woo! Okay. So that's there for about six seconds. Look at... Did you guys see that? Whew. For the love of games, I am really lame. I just ate my mustache. This is this episode's not going so good. I have enough coins to fight the fourth boss, but and that's a big but. Wait, can't I just Oh, it won't let me. Boo, let's try that one more time. Darn it. Okay. So I have to do this normally, like a normal g kid. I'm a big kid now. Okay, so the motto is don't be stupid, you got it. I'm getting on it. My Lanta! Okay, if anybody wants to stop watching, I don't blame them. Because he's so... He's actually got like a little bit of a latency to him. This isn't just me being doo-doo. Well, it is, but... Okay, we can at least cut a corner right there. And when Nate leans forward, you know it's serious. I'm going to crunch my neck. Okay, we're going. It's working so far. So far, so good. Okay, so far so good. Also, my buddy Vince messaged me and he was like, Oh, are you streaming tonight? Uh, not me hollering at the screen. This is why I don't play games anymore. I have too much rage. I have so much rage as well and it all was unleashed today on Back for Blood. So, I am zen. I am so calm. Oh shit. Okay, woo! Huh! No, don't you freaking do it. Hey, look, I'm... Wow, did you guys see that? I flipped off the screen and it helped. Nearly there, just a further tomb to go. Oh, you're evil. You are evil. Oh, crap. Oh, my God. Clive. Clive! Okay, everybody. Whew. Nate's going to get calm. He is not going to get sassy. Okay, speed runs. Holy crap. Okay. This sucks. Oh, that's your evil. You are so evil, game developers. This is... Mm. So now I have to do the same thing, but to the left. Because I'm, I'm a freaking OCD. I want to freaking collect every little item. That's why I love collect-a-thon platformers. Because they appease my inner seven-year-old who wants to collect every shiny thing on the screen. No! Oh my, oh my god, don't you do it. There we go. We took out, let's kick the cat guard. Come on, cat guard, get out of here. Come on, cat guard. Yes! <laughs> that works. Oh my god. And again, split paths. Are you... This game is really upsetting me. Okay, we're gonna hit the button again. We're gonna run. We're going to do this. 
This is great. No anger. The fact that I'm glitching that is amazing. Okay, ready? Come on, there we go. Oh, yes. Okay, that's a little bit of that's a little that's half. Okay, there's a demon there, and I'm not gonna take the alternate route. I do not care. I'll get those, and I'll leap towards the camera. Also, who the hell builds a giant pyramid just sticking out of a ramp like this? Riddle me that, Batman. Okay, Hot Cat Lady has some guards up here. Okay, so far so good. There's no secrets or anything, I think. This is a weird tomb. And he only had one guard defending this? Oh my god. Okay, ready? I'm actually like T-posing uphill. This is great. Ooh. We made it. I don't care if it's glitchy. Oh my god, is that Laura Croft? Hey, Laura Croft. Laura Cruz. Oh, fellow time traveler. Tomb explorers. Fantastic timing. Looks like we are too... You skipped the dialogue box. Where the hell did Laura Croft go? Laura. Laura, come back. Oh. And look, she's doing her iconic Laura Croft stance. I'll be there in a second, Laura. You didn't collect all this money. Hey, look, Laura. Look what I did. Are you just gonna are you just gonna stand there on the button and not do anything? Okay, dude. It's fine. Okay, so obviously we're supposed to go here and then wait. And then these, like, aren't there for long, as you can see. So, go. Ooh, one more key. One more key and I can unlock the chest of the level. Which I'm hoping is really close. Good lord. Yes, okay. Oh, and this is the button that Laura was supposed to push, but she was lazy. She's like, look, I did that by myself. Okay, we're going to take the... Oh, we're going to take the alternate route to get back. Because I'm very stupid. Alright, ready? Okay, okay. Nothing in the potted plant. Planty the potted plant. Okay, Laura went all the way here. Perfect. What kind of Tomb Raiders? Oh my god. Laura, talk to me. Nice work, boys. Look, this looks like we'll be, uh, this one will be somewhat trickier. Careful for those axes. I can't read today. What's going on? Oh, dude, she did a sick-ass flip. Look at her go. Laura, come back. Holy crap. Look at those. Would you check out her axes? This is crazy. Okay, ready? Huh. Okay, ooh. Okay, we're good. We are good. Oh, crap! Okay. Okay, we're good. Now, where the hell was the button that I was supposed to push? Is it down there? Oh, hey, I'm breaking the game again. This is great. Did I miss a button? Am I supposed to jump to the lower levels? No, I don't think I missed a button. Alright, let's go to the lower levels. Okay, 
She's standing on another button. So obviously she landed on the easy to land on button. Demon. I have a feeling though that this big ass section at the end is going to be easier. And I was looking at the chat instead of looking at my character. Let's kick the guard into the acid. Go, oh, damn it. Oh, it's just Weezer. Weezer? Oh my god, it's Weezer. Okay, so both of these paths lead to the same path, so I'm just going to get the money over here. This level is going a lot longer than the last one. That's for true. Okay. Yeah, the second layer without the axes, totally better. And she didn't even have to do this section. He just did a sick ass side flip. Oh, damn it! Okay. And I ate too much tasty things today. I need to eat more tasty things. So obviously it was something up in the axe area that we were supposed to do. Oh, I totally walked by it. I did all that item collecting for nothing. Because I'm just supposed to go, Oop, and hit this button to help Laura. I will in a second, Laura, wait. Wait, Laura, wait. Boom. And she's like, yeah, I did it by myself, yeah. And smooth landing with my monkey pal. Okay, Laura, what do you have to say to me? Priceless artifacts. Priceless smart effects. Phew. Hey, thanks for all the help. I'd love to stay and chat, but I just remembered I left my butler in the freezer. If you can grab that last button, I'd owe you a debt. If you guys didn't get that reference, in the original, not original, I think Tomb Raider 2, there was a joke because the butler that would, like, during the training level, would creepily follow Laura Croft around the level. And what people would do, and it became, like, an internet joke even in the 90s, is people would, like, walk into the freezer and then shut the door, and then he couldn't follow you. Dear Clive and Wrench, if you are reading this, I'm amazed you got this far. If you really want me, you'll have to come find me atop my pyramid. All the worst, Pharaoh Cleocatra the Seventh. What, I hit X. Oh, I guess it's the same note. So this is her throne room, apparently. And she's got a nice... And we're missing the last key, damn it. Okay, we're going to find the last key. I bet it's in here. Because this was the last section of the level. Crap. Okay, I think I know what to do. Pretty sure I know what to do. Yep, there's the button. So I'll just do that really quick. Hit the button and I'll help Laura get out of here. There she goes. And she's going to go lock her butler in the freezer. You're supposed to microwave and thaw your butler. You gotta let him thaw. Okay, obviously I missed where the last key was. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay. And look, the Cleocatra statues have freaking one dollars on them. Both of them do. God dang it. And there we go. Whew. Fun stuff. Where the... Oh, I'm on top of a pyramid. Nice. Nice. 
And a big Mario flagpole just spawned on the other side of the level. Nice. Oh, and there's the level exit. God damn it. Oh, it's a pole to get back. Okay, okay. Alright, I was really upset. I thought that that was like... Oh, now you have to go through the whole pyramid again just to uh, get all these little side items. But here's the end of the level right here. And I can just climb up that pole whenever I want. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to see that the last key is on the rooftops here and then we're gonna warp to the next level so that'll be fun okay cool they ask me why I gotta be so cruel as long as I'm on the throne we go by my rules And that friggin' horse Joe has been doing laps this entire time. I've got almost all the stopwatches and I'm missing four of the coins. So everybody, when you play this game, you go ancient stones. So shouldn't be uh, shouldn't this be stashed in the treasure chamber? Cleo must have left this one behind. Right in Dacus's blind spot. And how do you get ahead? Ask Cleo, I guess. So those are your hints for where all the like coins are which is kind of cool and now we have this big freaking pole to climb to the top of the level so there's gotta be a secret coin up here no god well that was poopy Go, Clive, go. Go, Clive, go. Go, Clive, go. I had to jump off the pyramid and be so cool. Let's do some twirlies. Let's really make the audience nauseous. Oh, my God. Okay, do not touch the top of the flagpole. My Clive! He's doing that. I swear to Cthulhu. Oh, Kate Banjo. What the ever-living fuck? He jumps by himself. Okay, so I gotta know that, that he jumps, and then I gotta hit X again to hover. You big idiot! Yeah, he does that automatically. This is baloney. That pole does not help. Look, I'm going to show you that he friggin' Dude, Clive, grab it, you... <sighs> oh my fucking goodness. Is there any other way I can kind of clip up it? Or is that the only way, is going up that friggin' pole? I had to be Greedy Joe, and I wanted all of that in-game money... No. You. And I don't know if you guys know if you were in for the first episode, but you have to talk to the refrigerator at the end of the level in order to progress. So I'm stuck in this level until I get to the top here. This works, this works, this works, this works, this works, this works. Yes. And now I'm stuck in the statue. God. Let's try this again. Where's my sister? There she is. Oh, boys, am I glad to see you. It's sweltering up here. I found that stone in a dystopian future city. Even more reason for us to stop Dr. D. Dr. Doofenshmirtz. Okay, now I'm going to leave the level. I don't care. 7 of 10 is a good number. Let's fight the boss. And then I can end this YouTube episode. And then I can jump over to the, to the next mission. I want to beat this freaking game. I'm going to take a sip of water really quick. I'm going to be really annoying about it. Oh, yeah. Delicious. 
a realistic Nate Slurping Simulator 2023. It's the best. Also, my microphone's kind of picking up a lot of weird stuff, so I'm going to turn down the gain a little bit. Ah! Ah! That was worse. Ah! 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 Woo! There we go. That's a perfect level. So now, everybody who hasn't watched this before, I have to run back into the world. And now you're supposed to walk into the boss door, which is right here. Alright, let's see how her boss fight works. Okay, so she's just chilling and she's got a lot of guards. And we're going to have to climb to the top of her tower. Great. Is it going to be a 2D platformer? Nope, it's going to be 3D. Still good. Okay, so it keeps... Oh my god, those are some shiny-ass pyramids. So it keeps saying that she has a right-hand man by the name of Gluteus Maximus. Yes, that's a funny joke. Uh, who's defending her at all times. So what I'm assuming is we're going to have to beat up Gluteus Maximus and we're not going to have to beat up her much. Who knows, hey demon. And that cat guard sucks. Oh my god! Dude, the cat guard saved me! So the cat guard saved me and then launched me back up the frickin' wall. Yes, I know I'm low health. There we go. I wonder what the next level is. I totally forgot about all the levels. So, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back through this. I really loved the biomes of this game. Like it's fun as I just got insta killed by the boulder respawner. That just happened. What am I, the main character of uh, Forspoken or whatever that game was? Deuteronomy. Oh my god. Okay. Ooh, it's down here. Oh, I guess it's like an area in case you get knocked off from the boulders. That's kind of cool. Okay. I don't care. HD rumble. Let's get ready to rumble. Okay, we got the other cat guard and they're clipping into the geometry. So when, when bad guys clip into the geometry, everybody, you know you've defeated them. In the real world, too, if you have a bully, bully at work. Oh, man, that demon was bouncing around. He's still bouncing. Uh, like someone's attacking you, and you, uh, you just have to like make them clip through the geometry, and then you'll be fine. This is a really weird boss buildup, because the other bosses, we haven't had to like basically do anything. It was just like we just got spawned in the boss room. And I'm not touching that. Uh, okay, ready? Nice. Okay, the cat guards are not fun. Oh, are you kidding me? Ooh. Oh, this sucks. Okay, we're almost at the top of the pyramid, though. We're going to have to jump on this crap again. I'm going to scratch my neck. Sorry, guys. Ooh. Oh, wait. We don't have to do all that crap? What's down there? It looks like money. Money and a checkpoint. I don't know if I was supposed to do it this way. Okay, that works. Oh crap, we're at the top of the tower. Yes! Yes! Super Mario! Okay, now we're at the boss fight. And there's Gluteus Maximus, he's kind of like stepping away. 
She's like meow. I don't know why her mouth is permanently open, but look at her go. Oh, she's floating. Oh, shit. Now she's going to cartoonishly wave. Oh, there she goes. What's going on? Okay, I guess the aliens love her. I guess. So now she's alien flying around. Oh, she'll be back. Ah, uh, see? She broke the nose off the statue. That was the boss fight. Was that really the boss fight? We didn't even have to fight her. We beat up two of her guards. And then she just, like, peaced out. That was bizarre. Yep, that was the boss fight. All right, everybody. Um, I'm going to end the YouTube video. I'll still be streaming, of course, to everybody watching this. So, on the next installment of Clive and Wrench, I am going to go to the next world. What's it all about? I kind of see the name of it over there, so I am scared. Thank you so much for watching. I'm going to see you in the next Cleopatra.